I've been dying to ask this question for a long, long time, if you don't mind. But uh, does your butt ever get cold on the set? <laughs> Because it's exposed off and, I mean, have they maybe made you a special uh, no, I, cozy for a bun warm or something? No, I have a contractual, they're contractually obligated to bring in propane heaters um, and avert their eyes. And a guy, a guy just comes and just warms it. A guy holds my bum, because what we do is we lift it and we also warm it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I see you get a little, yeah. It's part of why it looks so great. <laughs> um, we saw a lot of tension this time between Sarah and Felix. Um, did you enjoy the change in the relationship and getting to play a little? antagonistic between the siblings, the sibling relationship. Yeah, because Felix has always been Sarah's accessory. From the get-go, he just did what she asked him to do, and right. it's any time that you play with or throw a wrench in a character's dynamic, to character's dynamics, it's, an, it's amazing to watch, because when you enter those scenes, you don't, the, the, the goal is to not plan too much, to sort of see what happens and develops. And right. we didn't really know how the scene was going to play out. We knew we needed to get to a, a, a fraught, an emotionally fraught place, but we didn't know exactly what it was going to look like. Right. And it's, it was interesting to feel the, like, feel that, like, <laughs> when, so when, when the line comes out. Right. Actually, take after take, you were like, you just I don't know if there'll be more clones. I really hope that we get to explore Tony further. I think we got, you know, like the tiniest little bit of the iceberg with him. And um, I think he has a lot to offer as far as he's just a dynamic character in, in and of himself, but he also challenges Felix in a really exciting way. And I think the two of them together you have I love Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. They would get along. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. She she'd see through his shit so fast. Wash his hair. Yeah, exactly. Like she'd be oh cut his hair. Yeah. Like a foam. That would be amazing. Shave his hair. Table manners. She'd be all about the table manners. Oh, that would be cool. Thank you. Do you know your way around a shotgun as well as Mrs. S does? Because you look like you know what you're doing. If I told you, then I'd have to. Kill you. If you were to be a cosplayer, what would you bring? Me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, um, yeah. let's see. Um, the Finn from Adventure Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna go with the aging Superman that I saw you on. It's just so brilliant to Superman, but with like with slippers and the cane and kind of a bit. I thought that was just brilliant. <laughs> Someone from the Sunnydale Scooby Gang. Someone from Buffy. Um, Sci-fi stuff in your house. In my house, um, yeah, for a long time I had a Shaun of the Dead um, action figure, and I have like Leela and Fry and um, Nibbler uh, little figurines. Where, where, in your? Um, On my bookshelf. So.